Y'all, what's up, everybody? This is JC, y'all. And I'm back, y'all, with a part two video, man. Okay? I just want to talk about this for a minute, okay? I just want to talk to y'all about y'all got a right to offend yourself, okay? Y'all got a right to offend yourself, man, okay? And that's the problem with preachers today. They're not going to tell you about this stuff. Preachers never going to tell y'all to offend yourself, okay? They're not. They're not going to tell you. Okay? They're not going to tell you. Okay? So, I'm the black brother here to open up your people's eyes. Okay? And I'm just go ahead and just give y'all the truth. Okay? Number part two. You know, y'all should not murder. Okay? Y'all should not murder. Okay? But you got to understand this. Okay? According to the Bible, the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Okay? You got to understand what God was saying. Okay? God talking to Moses. All right? God talked to Moses, y'all should not murder him, okay? That means, that really means, y'all, y'all ain't supposed to be killing uh, innocent people, okay? God told to Moses about all things, okay? They give them, they give him the Ten Commandments, okay? You already know all the Ten Commandments, what God was saying, man. You gotta know, you gotta know more about Ten Commandments, what God was saying, okay? God God be saying y'all should not murder her. That really means y'all ain't supposed to be killing innocent people. Okay? They're not talking about people supposed to be killing, not supposed to be killing Satan's people. Okay? Y'all have a right to offend yourself. Okay? Because people, man, we live in this world, man. People got an evil, evil, evil mind, y'all. You see that people got an evil mind. They look at you, install, and take advantage of you, and start obsessed with you. You have a right to offend yourself. And I'm going to do the same thing too. Because 2016, I'm going to want to give me a weapon, okay? But I'm going to give me a weapon in the right way. I'm not getting one in the street. People be selling guns. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because I'm going to give me some well at the license place. I don't know what's the name of it. I got to go to the officer and so I can give me a weapon to protect myself, okay? Because they got a lot of murder of people on this earth be killing a lot of innocent people. They kill innocent children. They kill innocent girls and all type of stuff, man. Y'all see on the news, man. Y'all see no, y'all see on the news, man. They got a lot of kidnappers and got a lot of missing people, man. Y'all got a right to offend yourself, protect you and your children, man. You got to, man. Preachers never tell y'all this. All they tell you, excuse me. All they tell you is you gotta walk in love, all all type of stuff, and that's it. Y'all should not kill, okay. So preachers, they preachers have a nerve to tell y'all God's people y'all ain't supposed to be killing. That means they preachers telling y'all guys you ain't supposed to be killing Satan's people. So that means y'all allow Satan to destroy you. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's stupidity. Preachers, preachers don't understand in the Bible, man. People, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand what God was saying, okay? Because God told Moses y'all should not murder. That really means, y'all, to me, my point is, that really means, y'all, people, you ain't supposed to be killing innocent people. You ain't supposed to be taking somebody else's life like that, okay? Now, we live in a time, y'all, y'all see people get killed every single day. People be dying every single day. People die by guns or all kind of stuff. Kill innocent people, man. They keep rob the bank. Y'all y'all seen it all over, man. Tell them, come on now. Stop act like you don't see it, man. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all seen it front of your face, man. Y'all seen it, man. They kill innocent people. Guess what? People gonna do something about that. Okay? Now let me give you an example, okay? What's gonna happen if somebody else trying to took your woman? I'm gonna talk to the brothers record. What's gonna happen if somebody else trying to kill your woman? And what you gonna do? You got a right to fend yourself, right? You got a right to fend yourself. And somebody else trying to took somebody else's life and, and, and killed your family members, you got a right to, to, to kill that person who killed your family. You got a right. Don't listen to other people telling you. Talk about you got to forgive that person. You got a right to destroy that person because they, they're trying to destroy your family. Okay? Here's another one. What's going to happen if somebody else trying to break your house? What you going to do? Are you going to let them take your life or are you going to fend yourself? Think about it. Think about it. I'm just asking you the question. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Listen to my videos. I don't care if you're white or black. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're young and old. And somebody else trying to break in your crib. I don't care if it's your best friend or whoever. 
What's going to happen if somebody else trying to break in your crib and somebody trying to took your life and your children? What you going to do? Are you going to kill that person? Or are you going to just let them took your life? Or you want to call the police? Okay, if you call the let me tell you this. If you call the police, how the hell you want to call the police and that person's already in your house already? Come on, man. Come on. I'm just I'm just I'm just keep it real. Just think about it. How the world you want to call the police if that evil person coming in your crib already and trying to took your life? Come on now. I'm be, I'm just being real. I'm just being real, man. And I was y'all guys, if I have a weapon on me, did the guy named Tonio trying to break up my crib, trying to take my woman? I got a right to shoot this person, man. Because this person, man, think about some evil stuff, man. People be think about evil stuff. Reason why people think about some evil stuff? Because they working with Satan, y'all. They sold us sold to the devil, y'all. I'm telling y'all some spiritual stuff. Because other people, man, don't believe what I'm coming from, man. People don't believe what I'm coming from, man. They got some evil people think about doing some evil things. They think about raping children. They think about raping women and children, all kind of stuff. They think do the same thing with schools and college, all type of stuff, man. Y'all have a right to offend yourself, protect you and your children, man. Y'all need to, man. You want God to bless you, you got a right to protect yourself. And also, you have a right to offend yourself, man. But it doesn't mean like, you ain't supposed to be killing innocent people. Even the Bible says, the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse uh, uh, 13, by, God told Moses, God God already said, well, clearly, y'all should not murder. That means you ain't supposed to be murdering innocent people. If you don't like that person, move on with your life and stop killing innocent people. It don't make no sense you kill and take somebody else's life for no reason. And somebody else trying to take your mama's life, you got a right to the. You got a right. The, you got to have a right to kill that person because they took took your mama life. And let me tell you this. Let me give you an example. If somebody else trying to took my girl life, I'm gonna kill that person who do the same thing with my girl. If you took my girl life, I'm gonna took your life like you did to my girl. That's right. And somebody else trying to kill my family, my brothers, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I got a right to do that because they ain't got no right to take somebody else life for nothing. That's right, man. That's right, they got some a lot of people doing that kind of stuff. And they got some people be killing innocent people because their people owe them some money, all kind of stuff. They kill innocent people, man. And y'all got a right to offend yourself and you got a right to shoot that person, to kill that person, man. Because that person is evil. They don't give a care about your life. They don't care how much you walk with God. They don't care how much you love and deep in one relationship with God. They don't care about anything, man. You got a right to kill that person, man. Because that person in the real world, they are evil, man. Wake up, man. Now, ladies, let me tell y'all this. I'm going to ask your beautiful ladies. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're black or white, Mexican. It goes to you, ladies. What's going to happen if your ex, if you don't want to be with your ex anymore, all type of stuff we're going on with uh, with them or something, what's going to happen? What's going to happen if your ex bringing up your house and he plan on kill you? What you going to do? Or you want to fend yourself to protect your children? Or you want to let that person uh, take your life and your children's life? What you going to do? I'm going to ask you one more time because I don't want to confuse you. Y'all ladies, I don't care who you are. What you going to do if your ex-husband breaking up with your crib and trying to take your life? What you going to do is that the person trying to take your life? Or you want to kill that person? Or you want to let that person take your life? Or you want to call the police? Which one you going to do? Some of y'all ladies out there say, Jonah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about what's going to happen if your ex-boyfriend or the people you don't even know, they're breaking up your crib. What you going to do? Or you want, you had a right to fend yourself? Or which one you're going to choose? Some of y'all ladies say, well, I got to kill that person. You, you're damn right. You got a right to kill that person because that person is trying to kill you and your children. Some of the some ladies out there, she don't, she don't have an answer. Some of the ladies out there just want to call the police. That's that's not going to work. You know why? Because that person come in your crib faster. You see what I'm saying? How you want to call the police if that person is already in your house? You should be you be dead quicker. You see what I'm saying? So y'all ladies got to be real, real smart, man. If your husband trying to beat on you, put your hands on you, you have a right 
to find a way to hit them. Find a way that a, a, a fire pan and start hitting them with a head, man. Because most evil men's out there doing that kind of stuff to the women's. Beating up women. Destroying women's, man. They got some men's like that kind of stuff, man. Because of the sex life. You, you know what I'm saying? See, that's y'all, yeah, ladies. That's what y'all get. Y'all should not get with the wrong guys in the first place. You got to be real smart. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got no right to date with the guy. You don't even know who the guy really is, man. Y'all ladies got a real, real smart, man. Okay? It goes to my sister. My sister doing that same thing. She want to go back with a guy named Marcus. Marcus already cheating on her. Now she want to go back with that guy. You know why? Because she not smart enough. She not smart enough. That's right, man. That's right, man. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... The guy coming your crib and trying to trying to took your life away. You have a right to offend yourself to kill that person because that person trying to took your life. See, it was so sad. Preachers never tell y'all this. All that all that all all they say it is, y'all supposed to be for walking love. Y'all should not kill him. Okay? Y'all have a right to offend yourself, man. To me it is. To me is y'all got a right to fend yourself. Cause the preacher they're not gonna tell y'all anything, man. That was in the Bible. Okay. It doesn't mean like y'all kill innocent people. God, God already gave you a warning sign. Do not took somebody else's life for no reason. You can't do that. You know what? People do do the same thing. Took somebody else's life for, for nothing. Guess what? God gonna send this person to destroy that person because that person took somebody else's life. Y'all see what I'm saying, y'all. That's, see, that's what preachers and Christians don't understand about this. About God. It's according to the Bible, man. Y'all ladies know where I'm coming from, right? Same thing for you, brother. What's going to happen if somebody else trying to break up your stores and break up banks and all kinds of stuff? What are you going to do? You got a right to kill that person, right? Y'all brothers know where I'm coming from. Some brothers do, some brothers don't. Okay? What's going to happen... What you gonna do if the person trying to break in a crib, trying to rape your woman? You got a right to kill that person. That's right. And I'm gonna do the same thing, man. Okay, that was according to the Bible, y'all. Y'all seen David? David killed Satan's people. Even Samson killed Satan's people. Even Moses and Peter and all the rest of them. Come on now, read the Bible, man. Y'all do some do some study, man. Do some study, man. Come on, man. Don't listen to preachers telling you, man, because they don't know what they're talking about because they're not really studying the Bible with an open eyes. You know what I'm saying? They talk about God full of love and all kind of stuff. Yeah, pre God is love, but you got to understand God do all the killing just like y'all, man. God do all the killing, man. God kills Satan's people. God told Abraham to go to another city and, get, and, get, and, and, and give them the promised land. And guess what? They obey God. God finna send a brimstone to fire the city. God do all the killing. God, you want more? God flooded the, the, the world, man. God flooded the city. God told Noah to build that oat. The build, no, to build that boat. Okay? God God sent his animals and, and, and all that kind of stuff to the, uh, to the boat, man. Because God finna destroy the people. Come on now. Come on now, y'all do some study, man. I know what the hell I'm talking about. See, my mama never tell me about this, man. My mama never tell me about this. My mama talk about God is full of love, and that's it. God got a good inside him, and, and also God got a bad inside him. It doesn't mean like God's evil. God is not evil. God is a good God. Come on now. And that's all I got to be saying, man. I'm just hit y'all with some true stuff, man. Y'all have a right to offend yourself, okay? But... According to the Bible, the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 13, y'all should not murder. That means God already told God already told people, y'all should not murder innocent people, okay? Y'all y'all figured it out on your own, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Cuz God told Moses, y'all should not murder. That means y'all ain't supposed to be murdering innocent people. Took somebody else's life like that. Do some research for yourself, man. And this is JC, y'all. I'm just hit y'all with some true stuff. Love you guys, and I'm out. Peace.